Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile. Once again, we are doing another race. This time it looks a little different. See, there's like a little crowd, there's a little chest over here. So what's happening is it is currently 8.54. The race will begin at 9 o'clock. And this race is called the Descent Champions. And how it works is it's kind of like a roguelike style of, of a format where you run through 15 different dungeon rooms and the goal is to and the drop rates are like ridiculous it's very high drop rates you get a lot of good items possibly and the idea is through these 15 rooms you want to have the highest level possible and not die you know same as before it's still hardcore if you die you're dead and you just want to get through um as fast as you can or not as fast as you can you want to have the most exp at the end of the race um uh we are uh, we are playing the duelist once again and last time we did actually pretty well on the first race we got uh let's see what was it we got like 250 plays overall but we were one of the top 20 top 20 duelists in the race um so this time around i want to not exceed that level but at least not get lower than that right i feel like there will be a lot more people participating in descent champions but uh I'm excited, man. I'm excited to play. Uh, gotta open the prov Once you open the provisions, you get a choice of equipment. So you can choose which equipment to take. And then there are different paths. Like there are branching paths through each of the rooms. So if you take one path, if you go to a certain room, you cannot go back to the other rooms. So there's there's this one actually takes a little bit of preparation. And to be honest, I haven't prepared too much. Um... But we'll see, we'll see. I, I'm not too sure how many uh, duelists are out there playing today, so... Hopefully, if we can get top 20 again, I would be very happy. To, I was very, very happy with my top 20 result, actually. Um, so if we can get that again, that would be great. So, I have never been very successful with Descent Champions. I've played this a few times. Um, it is... It's, it's quite difficult, actually. And I have died many many times playing descent champions the first descent champion i kind of want to be uh i kind of want to be a little careful even if we don't get the level that we want i want to be careful this time around because it's really easy to die the nice thing about the duelist is that the art of the gladiator makes it so that you don't lose movement speed from armor so so you, you can wear like armor which is actually pretty tanky for you but you won't lose all that much movement speed, which is actually great. So I think this pathing, where you take physical damage um, into evasion life, into attack speed, into into uh, Art of the Gladiator, it seems really good. And then after that, you go and grab more damage, you get Master of the Arena, and you get two-handed damage. Um, I feel like this Art of the Gladiator node is actually really good. And that might just be me talking shit, but... That's the plan. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll with a two-handed build. We're going to go for two-handed swords, so not dual wield. So we need two-handed melee damage. Um, and then after that, it's just a lot of HP, right? So here, 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 here. Once we get this, we maybe we even go through life to get to this. Or we go, if we find we don't have enough damage, get one of this note, get Master Arena. And then get the life. Life is definitely really important. But I'm assuming that, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17 points. That base That is basically all we need. Um, we're not going to get any higher. Like, maybe I get mana flows as well, right? Like, go here. So maybe I get this big node, this big node, this big node, and then this big node. And if I can get here, that's even better. 1, 2. It takes 2 to get there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Around seventeen points to get all the, basically everything we need, um, for this race. And I don't think we should go any further. Basically, when you're racing, you're just playing with your starting area. So. So yeah, two more minutes before the league starts. <laughs> Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I hope I don't die. Please. Iron Jesus. Don't kill me. Oh. 
Okay. Are there any more efficient nodes? What's this? The only reason I'm getting mana flows is because it gives uh, 22 intelligence. And you probably need the intelligence for Herald of Ash, which I saw earlier today. Like, without the intelligence, I couldn't run any of the heralds. So I might have to get that earlier, too. I might have to go this way. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And at level 8, I'll have mana flows. 9, 10. And then at level 11, I'll have Art of the Gladiator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, this way works, too. And I'll have Art of the Gladiator. So I go this way. And then like this. Okay. One more minute. One more minute. Ooh. I'm nervous. Let's turn off chat. 10 seconds. Okay, so we've begun. I need a uh, cleave. Let's take double strike. Let's take a molten strike. And I'll take this just in case. I don't need those swords over there. Chest one, I am going to take the corroded blade. I think, yes. Chest two, I'm going to take the helmet. So the helmet goes here, the corroded blade goes here. Cleave, double strike, molten strike. Molten strike isn't really useful, but cleave is. Cleave is going to be my main skill, I think. Okay, let's do it. Wow, people are dying already. Oh. Take a lot of damage here, huh? I think in this zone, getting armor is actually quite important. I don't I don't really want to use the plate vest, but I'm gonna play more carefully, so I will use it. Okay. Just gotta make sure I go fast, but at the same time I don't want to die. And then any mobs that are nearby, I should try and kill them because I found last league or the last uh, the last race. I was starting to get like more and more under leveled. So if I can like kill stuff behind me, that would work. If I can get movement speed boots, that would be great too. Iron hat, yes. Oh, I already have a hat. I leveled the gems. Where's the exit? I don't really know the pathing of this area. So I'm a little confused right now. Um, this looks like the exit. Is it? You know what? I'm gonna unequip this plate vest. I need better move speed. And when I finally do get the, the node, I will go. So I want to go to the croaking halls, I believe. Let's go this way. They're level 4 already? I'm only level 2. Why are people so fast? Oh, a superior puncture. Wow. Okay, coral ring, a medium life flask, a rustic sash. I will equip. I can't equip this. Okay. And I can't equip my flasks either. I need levels. Oh, this area is level 4 and I'm only level 2. This is dangerous. Does the stone axe do more damage? 7 to 14, 10 to 17. This, this, uh, I don't need this. Oh, let's put these here, actually, the helmet. And then let's grab that. That's it. We leveled. Let's get this. We can still cleave. That's good. Let's just not die. It's really easy to die in Descent Champions, I think. That's the one thing I don't want to do. Oh, these are blue monsters. That's really good. Ooh, blue mobs give a lot of EXP. Do I have enough? Okay, I can start using my life flasks and stuff. Let's identify this. 
It gives more life, uh, but it's a helmet. I gotta keep my helmet. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. The problem with playing in the Descent Champions is normally you're gonna get under leveled. That's just natural. Um, but I would prefer not to, you know? You gotta have good flask management here too. Because there's actually not that much to kill. I'm starting to find. Um, this way. God, we're already at the next level. Okay. So I'm level 4. This area is level 6. Here's the chest. Scouring, regals. Okay. Can I roll any of my stuff? Yeah, let's roll this. No. Okay, so we got move speed on here. I'm gonna put this on. Um, I wanna level some gems in the background. Specifically this. You know what, I'll even put this on uh, here. And then level puncture. Level this. I need vigilance strike. Two. All right, so vigilance strike is there. It took a while doing that, but I think I needed to. Oh, a coral ring. That's really good. Oh man, these things are strong. Just to move. Purple coral ring. Okay. Alright, I think we're actually doing pretty well now. I'm actually pretty satisfied with how things are going. And we have Vigilance Strike to make us more tanky. And we're gonna be at the boss soon as well. And I'm gonna be level 5. Hopefully if I can hit level 6 at the end of this room, it'll be fine. So that's 5. Keep the chainmail vest. Make sure that my splash damage hits, ev hits everyone. It's pretty important. Uh, okay, this is more armor. Oh, they do a lot of damage! That's what I have to be careful of. Stuff that just wrecks me. Okay, and now I'm gonna roll this thing. Give it an elk. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just regal this. Okay. I need more life. Somehow. Oh. Like some kind of life regen. Uh, let's roll this. Okay, some life. Let's roll this. Uh, here. Sure. And then let's roll this with a chance orb. Augmented. Sure. Alright. Now it's been 7 minutes. And this race lasts for 40 minutes. So it seems okay so far. But uh, we're definitely behind compared to everyone else. Yeah, they're in the cage already. I'm not even close. I'm doing. I'm going very slowly. I'm. I'm scared of dying. Here's a. That's a thing. So. And it's been a long time since I played Descent. It's actually quite a difficult race. Okay, they're level ten. And that's position 5. So I'm actually not doing that badly then. If you die on level 10, the boss is gonna take a while. Ok, 
Okay, I don't have a Quicksilver just yet, which I need pretty badly. But we're going in level six and a half. And this is the boss, right? Okay, so this is the boss. Let's put down a decoy totem. Kill these. Vigilant strike. And let's just... Oh, he does a lot of damage. It's not that bad, actually. Oh! It is kind of bad. I need resists. I need lightning resist. Alright. I'm gonna have to, uh... Be a little cheeky here. Let's reroll this. Reroll it again. Well, it has some life. Good enough. Anything else that I can reroll? No? Oh, this is a tough fight. Okay. Almost. Almost done. Okay, let's heal up. Back to full. These bosses are always hard. So, I'm not surprised that I'm having this so much trouble. So close! Kill him! Kill him! Alright. Look of skill. That's actually great. Oh, a large, large life flask too. And, uh, take this. ID it. Let's get rid of the small one. I'm actually gonna go for four life flasks. Um, we got two levels. Take this. And then let's start going towards mana flows. Like this. Do we want any of this stuff? I'll take a look at the gauntlets. Uh, it's not that good. Anything else? Chainmail tunic. Strength? Sure. That gives life, but I don't have enough in intelligence. Okay, so they killed Brutus already and they're level 13. I got a superior melee splash, which is amazing. It requires level 8, so I'm gonna have to remember that. I have another large life flask. Let's drop this. It's gonna be dangerous for a couple minutes, for a couple, uh, for a little bit before I kill something. And charge up my flask. Okay, let's drop some of the stuff we don't need. Uh, that might be useful. Okay, I just don't want to die, that's all. If I don't die, I'll be happy. What's my goal today? What's my level goal? 15? 15 would be good. Oh, a jade amulet. That's actually... Ah, no, that's not that good. I need an int amulet. Okay. Okay, I think at this point I might be willing to rush rush it a little bit. I skipped like the frozen chamber or whatever I think. Which gives you a quicksilver. Um and I mean that's kinda sad, but whatever. I already have movement speed boots. So if I lose out on a couple quicksilvers, so be it. It means I'll be behind overall, um, and it'll be like it'll take longer for me to progress. But uh, I need to catch up, you know. Okay. All right. So far, so good, I guess. Things were pretty... They were, they were pretty iffy when I was fighting the Kudoku Shrine, but... Or the Totem. The boss was pretty hard to deal with. But now it looks okay. Oh, this Tribal Mall could be really good. Oh shit, but the Tribal Mall doesn't, uh... It doesn't cleave. Crap. Only had like ground slam or something. Although I do have melee splash. I don't 
don't need melee splash right now. I think I need added fire. Okay, let's take a look at those boots. Uh, let's go towards damage now. Oh wait, let's go this way. You have to go life and then damage, huh? Let's ID this. More mana regen. That's good. Boots. Lightning resist. Uh, not that useful. Let's put a... Uh, let's see. Cleave. Vigilant strike. Repost. Let's put this here. Let's put added fire here. Decoy totem. I'm going to put it away for now. Put melee splash on here. Okay. Alright. Hollow Cave. Now we want to go Necromancy. Okay. And some more stuff for us to roll. Um, I'm gonna roll... Probably the Belt. Uh, is it all that good? Better than what I have. Let's go with that. And then let's see if I can roll this thing. No. 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 Okay. Let's keep going. How much time? 15 minutes. And I'm level 8. I'm level 8, this zone's level 10. Just starting to become a problem. I, I can't kill stuff fast enough anymore. Maybe double strike is better? No, it's not. I definitely should not skip these mobs, I know that much. I need the EXP. But I don't I don't think I'm doing this right. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, Helmet's level 17 already. What the hell? I'm level 8. I definitely fell behind. Like, he got to Brutus while I was still fighting the boss. Okay, let's keep going. I think I need to go fast now. Holy shit, what is that? Is that a rogue exile? Okay. Bastard sword. Let's drop this. I mean, I'll ID this. It's okay. I not use it. Oh no, I can't equip either of them. I need strength. Where do I get strength? Oh my god, I can't equip my. This is bad. Can't equip my gear. Okay, let's get rid of these. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I need to look at the iron ring. Dexterity. No, that one has too much life. Um. Uh, there was a sword, a bastard sword. Look at that. Probably better. Can't equip it. He's level twelve. Okay, let's just let's just carry that with me. Oh, this is looking bad. Didn't I have a puncture? Puncture. Right here. Okay. You need a bow, dagger, or sword for puncture? Great. Okay, we'll have a sword eventually.
Uh, I am super behind right now. Haunted dungeon or burning cave? Crap, which one do I go to? I think it's the haunted dungeon. Yeah, it is. Orb, alchemy, chaos orb. Um, regal it. 44 increased physical damage. This is gonna be good. Let's chaos this thing. Yeah, it sucks. And, uh... Do I have another regal? Not. Okay. Let's just go with this then. I need to hit level 12. The level discrepancy is starting to build up. Yeah, this is not good. It's getting increasingly more and more difficult. And I need good gear to make up for it, but I don't have the levels to use the gear. So I need to kill stuff, but I don't have the damage to kill stuff. See where I'm going with this? I gotta take out melee splash. I'll level it. But I'm not doing enough damage with it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put added fire on here instead. Oh, this is a hard race. Element's 20. I'm level 9. I am definitely not going to be in the top of the duelist list. But whatever. Level 15 is at position 47. What am I then? Like 500? Okay, at least I'm level 10. Uh, let's go this way. It's hard. I'm not doing well. I need a better weapon, but I need two levels to get a better weapon. You know what? Oh, it's because I'm using a white weapon. I'm so stupid. Let's alk this. Oh, this is gonna be so much better. Okay, I fucking goofed. I was not paying attention. And let's take this and I'll alk this as, as well. This one's definitely better. Oh my god, this is so much easier. So stupid. Well, there's the cage. <sighs> that means this is Brutus, right? Okay. How do I kill him? Oh my god. Let's puncture him and run. Will that kill him? Is this the plan? No, that cannot be the plan. Okay, I'll just slowly wither at him and try to dodge his smashes. Oh no. I can't feed him Soul Eater. Slam me. Okay. Doing okay. I think he's gonna die. I'm running out of flash charges though. Gotta kill him now. Okay, good. Book of skill. Alright, so at least we've killed Brutus. Let's take a look at these boots. No, 
These are no good. I'll keep an extra sword. Uh, Jade Chopper. Take a look at the helmet. I'm gonna throw this away. Uh, it's a decent helmet, but I need these sockets. So I have to throw that away. I have to throw this away. These are all useless. And then, uh, oh, I'm taking too long. Uh, the J Chopper. I need to take a look at. 17 to 27. You can, you can put it there. Double strike, repost. Put this here. Put that there. And let's put added fire damage here. So we will be doing cleave added fire damage. And uh, let's go with that. This can't use it. Double 11, that's okay. Anything else? Long sword. 11 to 25 damage. Let's go with this. Okay, and I have another level, and I'm gonna use it for damage now. Necromantic Cri Cruel? Level. I'm still level 10, and I'm at a level 14 place. But we do a lot more damage now. Wow. So, at least there's that. Was there supposed to be a chest there? Did I miss something? No? Okay. Gotta, let's, gotta kill these guys. This is good EXP. Okay, it's 25 minutes. And I'm level 10. And it's starting to become hard for me to level. Because here's the thing. As the zones... Like, the level of the zone gets higher, you get less, like, the further away your level is from the level of the zone, you get less EXP too. So I'm actually slowly getting less and less EXP. I think to get the most out of what I'm doing right now, I should actually try and just farm up this whole area and try to catch up on levels instead of trying to progress. I think that's what I should do. I'm not going to catch up to those guys anymore. So let's just do our best and try to kill as much stuff as, he as possible here. Hopefully that'll do it for us. Okay, so that's level 11, so I can get this. We can put everything in here. And then we can put puncture, double strike, repost. Where's my double strike? More damage, obviously. Okay. Gotta farm this stuff. Like, there's a lot to farm here. Okay, there's only 10 minutes left. I'm level 11. Like, maybe I can get to level 12. Maybe. Or actually, I probably can. I think level 14 is like the, the sweet spot. It's like, maybe I can get level 14. I can probably get level 13 in the next 10 minutes. Um, but after that, I don't know. Okay, I'm close to 12, so I can get my sword, which will increase my damage by a lot. Okay, so there's my sword. Let's equip that. Wrong sword. This one. Oh, now I can almost one-shot everyone. Let's continue to increase our damage. At this point, I think HP is good. The rest is all damage. The more I can one-shot these guys, the better. Because that, that means I can progress faster. I really wish I stuck around and managed to... And, uh... And, like, went and got a Quicksilver. Because right now, move speed is a problem. Okay. Probably gonna hit 13.
keep the resistance rings just in case. Okay, there's, there's a lot of EXP here. I'm gonna hit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit 13. Maybe I can hit 15? It's starting to cut it kind of close. Okay, accuracy is actually a problem. Actually, no, it's not that bad. So, should I put in a chance to hit? Maybe not. Post additional accuracy. I'm starting to get really good EXP because my level is starting to match the zone's level. That's why. Okay, more damage, more damage. Okay, so I'm level 14 now. So going into the next level would actually be a good idea now. Let's do that. Right away. Get that leather belt. Do I have an alchemy orb? I do not. Okay. Misty Cave Diabolic Crypt. Which way do I go? I actually don't know anymore. Uh, Diabolic Crypt, I don't know. Okay, there is a Herald, so that's good. And a Turquoise Amulet. Uh... I used the Herald of Ash, I need level 16 for that. Fuck! Okay, I don't need this anymore. Uh, these gloves are actually pretty damn insane. Um... And I don't need this, I don't need this. Keep the amulet just in case. Let's take the heralds. Let's take this. Uh, let's ID this. Oh no, it's not. Let's throw this away. I have a couple chaos orbs. So let's use that on this. Chaos that. Whatever. And then let's chaos this. Is this more DPS? Thanks to me, no, it's not. Okay, let's just go with that then. I believe in traveling light. Okay, whatever. So we can actually start using puncture now, which is good. My original plan was to get leap stand, but I think I went the wrong way somewhere, um, and I couldn't get leap stand. So now I'm stuck with cleave. The whole way. What can you do, right? So at the very least, I want to hit. I can't hit for. I can't even hit 15. I'm gonna try for 15. Um, I think I'm gonna only hit 14 though. Okay, so position 7 is at level 23. I'm not even close to that. What am I close to? It feels like I'm at like position 500 and the ladder. Level 13. It's pretty bad. This level, this place is level 16. I need levels so badly. I need to hit 16 so I can use a herald. Okay, so we're 14 now. I should look for boots and roll them so I can get at more move speed, like 15 move speed. That will probably be good. I wonder how good Puncture is with melee splash. I would like to try it, but I really can't. Let's try rolling this and then recoloring it and then fusing it. 
and then take puncture with splash. I mean, I can give it a try. It might be good. Superior molten shell. I don't think that's good. But we can apply a little bit of bleed with puncture splash. Um, hopefully that'll do something. With more melee damage. Hopefully as they're chasing us, they'll die. This is this is what we're gonna be doing. They're not dying. <sighs> this is bad. I don't know which way to go. Let's go this way. Level 18. I'm level 4. Alright, this is it. We're dead. I swear to god, we are actually dead. Uh... Oh, all right. Here's the plan. Maximum number of sockets. I need sockets now. Okay, let's let's use all our all of our exalts on this thing. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. Okay, and then I'm gonna do cleave. Uh, weapon elemental. I can't use weapon elemental, huh? Can't use any of these. Can't use melee, it's melee added fire. Can't do melee physical either. I need level so badly, it's insane. What do I do? Uh, let's... Let's... Scour this? No. What item level are these? Let's take this. Oh, okay. Yeah, good enough. Uh, Alright, whatever. Let's chaos this. 164. Oh, that might be better. Yeah, okay, that's better damage at least. Okay. Alright, that's what we're going with. I have four minutes left. Get to level 14. I mean, this race was a failure. I'm gonna admit it right now. I screwed up, I think. There was just too many elements to think about. And, uh,. I didn't juggle it very well, I don't think, but we're gonna try our best, see if we can get up to like 14 and a half maybe, maybe 15 if, if I'm like lucky, Just don't die oh god. Can I do 15? I might be able to, 3 minutes. Level 15 in 3 minutes. I gotta get like a lot of packs. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Big packs. Big packs. Big money. Halfway. Two minutes left. Oh, the damage. It's insane. I'm gonna die. No! Damn it! Died at level 15. I got too greedy. I got way too greedy. Alright. Let me see what position I was at before I died. Oh. So sad. Oh, dead characters will still receive reward points? Alright. So at least there's that. So I have level 15, 318,000 experience. I feel like I'm way behind. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm like all the way at page, not even page 10, page 13, 16. Where am I? Oh my god. Am I even in top 1,000? Okay, at least I'm within top 1,000. 318,000. 317. 772nd place. Damn it. So I got... I got 4 reward points for getting to level 14. I got... One, two, two more reward points for killing Ruduku and Brutus. So I got six points this league, or this race. And that's probably it. I'm gonna export. I'm gonna refresh. I'm gonna export the CSV. And I wanna take a look and see what place I was in terms of all the duelists. Man, Hellman, he wrecked. He got level 26 as a duelist, fifth place. They did really well. All these top racers, man. I gotta watch one of their videos, see what they're doing. They're like exceptional. I'm so jealous. Alright, I'm opening up the spreadsheet for this race. I'm gonna take a look how everyone did, or how I did compared to everyone else. Close. I'm gonna filter it on. Duelist. Class. Duelist. And I am, oh my god, I am so far behind. I screwed up for sure. So I am 112th on the duelist chart. 112th place. God damn it. Well, so it goes, you know. We definitely didn't do that well. We screwed up. Um, I think you're supposed to drag the packs further together. And you gotta make sure you don't far, like, you don't end up too far behind in the zone. Once you, once you get under leveled in the zones, it's hard to get new equipment. I think that's the problem. And you need to be able to understand equipment, get the, like, better gear for the area you're in. But yeah, so that's 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 our second race, the descent race. We tried our best, but our best was not good enough. But I will definitely the descent race was really fun though, so I definitely will try again. Um but that's it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash and next place for future updates where I will tweet out when I will have streams or when new videos are up. Otherwise, uh keep in touch guys. I'll see you guys next time. Mm, bye bye.